Would you like to learn the four domains of enterprise architecture? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with a little over 25 years experience. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the four domains of enterprise architecture. And the four domains we'll be discussing will be business architecture and what that actually is. Uh, the data or the information architecture and what that actually is. The application architecture and what that is. And of course, the technology uh, architecture for the organization. And they're going to be the four domains of enterprise architecture. I'm going to start, which probably is the most critical one, which is actually the business architecture. Now, the business architecture is how that organization operates. That's where we tie and tie, we create the target operating model on how we want that organization to operate. When we look at the business architecture, we start mapping out the business's capabilities so we know what that business can do and what it can do well and how it can actually compete. We map out the organization's, say, value streams. We map out the organization's critical processes and how people do their job. We map out uh, the org chart, key roles, responsibilities, what have you, for the organization, and even key performance indicators, things like what we're trying to achieve and uh, metrics that for the business that show success versus failure. Now, when we're considering the business architecture and we're optimizing the business architecture, we're really determining which capabilities we're going to invest in for that organization. A business may have many capabilities, but where we place those investments will ultimately be the determination of that organization's long-term success. So what are the kind of outputs that actually come out of designing the business architecture as an architect? Uh, capability maps, uh, heat maps, value stream maps, uh, target operating models, uh, initiatives, roadmaps, what have you. So these are the types of things that we'll be mapping out as part of the business architecture as enterprise architects. Now, the next main component for enterprise architects, the next domain is going to be the data or the information architecture. And this is about making the data reliable, trustworthy, and using that data for some form of business benefit or information across the organization. So here we're really determining what kind of records we're trying to keep, uh, who's going to own the records, uh, who's going to be in charge of the data, how do we integrate that data and what are our integration patterns across our organization? How and when do we retain the data? How and when do we delete the data? How do we classify it? How do we protect the data? So this is typically part of your data or your information our, our, our information architecture. And out of this, you'll have some conceptual models of your information architecture. You may have some information related to your domain ownership. You may have some racy matrices and some data catalogs, things that show you data lineage. Uh, we may have some data standards, data principles. These are the kind of things that are going to come out of the data information architecture that we'll create. Now, the next type of architecture element or domain that's part of uh, enterprise architecture is the application architecture. And that involves the application portfolio that that organization has that it uses to deliver its capabilities to the world. And in a perfect world, these applications are going to minimize complexity, they're going to reduce risk, and they're going to reduce cost for the organization and the way they do things. Things. So here, what we're determining is what the systems need to be, uh, where the boundaries of the applications are going to be, what kind of interfaces and API we need, what kind of non-functional requirements we need for our applications, and are we modernizing any of these things? So at the architecture level, we're making decisions. Do we buy the application, for example, like a commercial off-the-shelf product? Or do we have our team internally, the developers, actually create that for us? Do we, we keep an application? Do we replace it, uh, move on to more into something different? Uh, anything that would go into our patterns of application integration, uh, that type of environment. So that's the application architecture. And the typical kind of architecture artifacts we might create here or, or outputs of our work might be an application portfolio map. It could be contact their container diagrams. They can be an inner, they can be an inventory of the applications. They could be some integration patterns of your applications or playbooks. And the last real element of your architecture is actually the technology architecture, or the infrastructure architecture. 
Now that's typically where infrastructure architects like me or people or enterprise architects that, that specialize in infrastructure tend to be. Here we're focused on the network, we're focused on the compute, we're focused on the storage, we're focused on the cloud, what have you, a rented data center, if you will. So we're really focusing on everything we have from the infrastructure perspective. Network, compute, storage, all of it. So our hosting strategy will be coming out of here. Do we self-host it? Do we put it in the cloud, for example? Uh, or any guardrails that's associated with our technology? Do we create any reference architecture, service level agreements or targets, for example, for the infrastructure itself? Like how do we get the system to 99.99 .99 or 99.99% .99 of the time? We're evaluating all the trade-offs of the infrastructure cost versus performance, for example, what have you. And we're really looking at it. So what kind of architectural artifacts do we create here? Well, here's where we may have some reference architectures. We'll have some infrastructure architectures. We may have some network architectures. Uh, and then we'll have controls, uh, guard, guard rails, uh, documents that we all create. We'll have some capacity and some resiliency patterns. So this is the technology infrastructure. So you can see enterprise architecture is not just about the tech. It's about everything. And if we're going to ensure alignment between the business and the technology platforms, it takes you know us really focusing on the business architecture, the data and the information architecture, the organization's application architecture, and of course their technology infrastructure that makes the rest of it possible. So in this video, we covered the four domains of enterprise architecture. If you'd like to become an enterprise architect or a security architect or a cloud architect or an AI architect, we have two things going on for you. One is we have complete programs that will teach you everything you need to get you hired for your first architect job, and you can find them on our Go Cloud Careers website. We also hold two free weekly, free weekly webinars every single week where we'll go over various architectural roles. We'll talk about the skills you need to get your first architect job, like an enterprise architect job versus a security architect job. We'll talk about uh, how you can stand out ahead of the competition, how you can get hired, and everything you need to do to build a great enterprise architect career, security architect career, cloud architect career, AI architect career on these free webinars. And of course, you can ask us questions on these free webinars. They are live. They are free on Zoom. You can register for any of our free webinars by going to the description of this video and signing up. While you're in the description of this video, we have so many free things to assist you in your architecture career. Guides, for example, on how to become, a, a, say, an enterprise architect or an AI architect. Uh, guides on how to win the interview. And they're all free. So uh, sign up. They'll be emailed to you. And I know it'll be a big help for you in your architecture career. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your IT architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in a free webinar or another video soon. Take care. Thank you.